Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know this is up a little bit late, it should have gone up yesterday, but I haven't been very well. I've had a really bad cold all weekend and my son's been ill as well. So that is why it's up late, but we are finally in October, which means I can use Halloween kits and I'm so excited. So the first one is obviously my one from my shop called The Boo Crew. This one I did do a mock spread on, which is here. And the reason I didn't film it is because I knew I was going to be using it in my proper plans this month and I didn't want you to see the same kit twice. I also had a giveaway with this kit and it ended up that I chose three. I couldn't choose just one because everyone was so lovely and favorited my shop that I just decided to choose three. So congrats to Nadia, Sydney and Kimberly. I have messaged you guys on Etsy and all of your packages have now been sent so you should get them really soon. But let's get on with the actual plan with me. So I'm going to start with the washi as I usually do and although I've got no date covers in with this kit I've decided I was going to make my own date covers so I stuck the washi halfway up on the page so it just covered the like dates at the top and then I'm just cutting off the excess and I'm going to make sure I keep hold of that because I'm going to put it along the bottom so that way I've got washi along the top and along the bottom. I'm just going to cut it down to size with my little hobby craft card and my knife. I'm so sorry if my voice is really irritating. I keep stopping and taking sips of water to try and clear it. <laughs> Once I've done that, then I can then make my date covers. I've done this before and it's something that you guys can do as well if you really want date covers. I take one of the weekly ombre boxes and I just literally slice it up so you can see where the line is where it ombres. You just cut along that line and then you've got yourself some DIY date covers. Once I'd finished putting them along the top, this kit does come with the headers, but I decided I was going to use this really sparkly black washi tape. I think it's actually for crafts more than for planners because it's super sticky and whenever I had to rip it up, it was kind of scary, but I really loved it and I thought it went well with the kit. So I'm using the black washi tape for my headers. So for Monday I started with a purple quarter box with a little home icon and then a half box with a little sad crying poppet and I used the half box to mark down that my fiance was home and we were both full of cold and just had a sofa day. I went to put the next kind of glitter header in but I decided it was a little bit thick so I was going to be cutting them in half because it looked better a bit thinner. And then underneath I put a page flag with one of the poppets from my Halloween sheet. This one's like a sugar skull and I just marked down that I was picking three giveaway winners. I also put down the lazy day sticker that came with the kit because it was kind of perfect for Monday. I put down my full box and then another glitter header and the glitter is really chunky and it kind of keeps falling off so that's why I was brushing off my planner. And then I just put down two TV shows, we watched Passengers while laying on the sofa and then just chilled out watching crap TV. <laughs> For Tuesday I put down a piece of washi and a half box which I flipped up onto its side because I really needed to catch up on some work because I hadn't worked all weekend and Monday so today it's all about catching up. And then underneath I put an appointment label and this poison bottle which is actually some deco in the kit but I thought it was quite funny because I'm literally taking cold and flu all day. I had to call the opticians and cancel my appointment so I just used one of the doctor puppets from the doctor sheet and I also need to clean today and it's going to be a deep antibacterial clean even though I really don't want to but I don't want anyone else in my house catching this cold. Then I moved on and put down a quarter box with a little page flag on top because I wanted to make sure I filmed this plan with me. I was going to try and do it in the morning, which I did do. Now I'm just currently editing it and hopefully it's going to be up before this afternoon. That's my goal. I just put down my full box and then on top of that I just put a little piece of the patterned washi and just put um, upload plan with me. So on Wednesday I've got a payday and this payday sticker actually comes with the kit and then underneath I put a half box because it's my cousin's birthday and obviously I had to use one of my birthday puppets. 
I put another piece of the black glitter washi down as a header and then also a piece of thick washi because I needed to work on my secret project. I'm actually kind of getting a bit nervous because I wanted it done by the end of October so I can release it and show you guys in November so I really have to work really hard now. The little poppet that's dressed up as a wizard is from the poppet Halloween sheet and then I put my full box down, another glitter header and I've got to do some food shopping so I put a food shopping poppet down from the home life sheet and some laundry and that poppet is also from the home life sheet. So for the next half of the week I started with a thick piece of black glitter tape. And then for Thursday I used a thin piece of washi with the cup on top that says Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. I put a ombre three heart checklist down and my next header and the three heart checklist was just to remind myself that the new release is the next day, I need to work on my new kit and I wanted to have a quick tidy up. I put my full box down and a quarter box because my dad is picking the other two children up from school because my son he's really good at IT and computing and we've been contacted by two different schools for him to go and have a look around if he would like to go there it's like a college university situation I mean my son's only 13 and he would start in September if he wanted to go to these two schools so he will be 14 by the time he goes if he decides to go I think they are Academy for Science and Technology or University Technical College. I can't remember, but anyway, it's very exciting. Um, so for the Friday, I've got a delivery due in the morning and then I put a piece of washi down with a happy poppet and an important header because it's new release day. And I obviously missed last week and I felt so, so bad, like all weekend and all week, I felt really bad that I'd missed it. So I just wanna make sure that I am good to go and just ready for Friday's new release. I'm hoping by Friday, I am much, much better and completely over it. So I put down a cleaning sticker because I knew that I would definitely have laundry to do. I wanted to clean windows and mirrors in the house and have a really good vacuum. Underneath I put a glitter header before putting down my full box. For the weekend I just put the weekend banner down and I decided not to put any washi behind it, I just left it under the glitter tape. I put a half box down with the family little icon sticker because that is the next school we're going to visit, it's in Cambridge. And then I put my full box down with another glitter header. I then put down an ombre heart checklist for just homework, wash the uniforms and to check my emails. And then I just want to put my little things down so I put another glitter header down and then put down some TV programs. And I know some of these are kind of overlapping on the line for the next day but my full box is going to cover that anyway and I was just too ill to like notice. <laughs> For Sunday I put down a poppet that says need coffee and then two pieces of washi and I left like a little hair of space in between them to put on top this plan with me for plan next week. I don't know what I'm saying now, there's a sticker that says plan for next week. Then I put down a to do and I didn't want to use a full box or check box, I just wrote it down myself because I haven't used one throughout the spread I thought it might look a little bit odd to have one just randomly on the Sunday so I just done it myself. And then I put a header down for my little things and I didn't really have anything else happening on Sunday so I just put down my full box at the end. Moving on to the sidebar, I just used the black tape as a frame around my full box so that way it will cover the calendar at the top. I think I say that in literally every video but I like to cover the calendar so I just extend the box a little by adding two pieces of washi. Underneath I put a habit tracker with a piece of patterned washi and then I put my next habit tracker down with the next piece of washi that kind of matched the middle part, if that makes any sense. I put down my next week header along with an ombre weekly box, obviously I cut the other one up for the dates along the top so this is one that I had left. 
Then to fill in the gap at the bottom I use two pieces of the plain dark purple washi and then use another piece of the black glitter tape at the bottom and then to stop it from sticking on all of my other stickers and like completely ripping everything up I just used a spare bit of sticker paper and then I filled it all in with the half box. Next I just took my Halloween countdown stickers and I was deciding whether to put them at the top or the bottom but I decided along the bottom would look a lot better and that way I could just put some deco along the top. And although I don't have a coffee date this week, I just used it in the half box as a piece of deco. So that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Plan With Me's. And also remember to hit the bell icon so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.